Hey guys and welcome back to Hoosier Hardware and today we're taking a quick review look at the MSI Mag Core Liquid 240 RV2. That is a mouthful. This one is the white version though it does come in a black version if that fits your aesthetic of your build a little bit better. Now for current pricing and availability see those links down below because that is going to come into play a little bit later in the review. So uh, hold off for that in the conclusion section but for now Let's take a look at this actual cooler. Now, physically, this cooler actually looks like a basic Ace Attack model, though it is not because the pump in the cooler is actually mounted in the radiator itself and it occupies a space that wouldn't really see airflow anyways because it's mounted right where one of the fan hubs would normally go so the pump is out of the way it likely saves a little bit from msi not having to use the ace attack design and then paying ace attack for that design though it also doesn't really provide any sort of performance uplift it just gets the pump in a position where it's out of the way and avoids an ace attack design so that's fine now with that being said the rgb does also extend on to the fans now the fans themselves have a standard fan connector as well as a separate ARGB connector which you can daisy chain uh, to sort of link everything together using a motherboard header now for my use case I was just using an ARGB controller on the case itself which made uh, routing those cables pretty simple and easy now as far as compatibility goes it's gonna work on pretty much every mainstream platform made in the past decade from either Intel or AMD as well as extending to the LGA 2066 platform so you have a pretty broad compatibility when it comes to what uh, CPUs you can throw this cooler on you cannot throw it on Threadripper though and if you're watching this in the future as long as AMD still includes the sort of uh, clips from its uh, backplate and uses the same uh, mounting holes as the AM4 backplate uses then it should be compatible which brings me to the AMD mounting unlike the Intel mounting which does include a backplate which I think is more secure in general the AMD version of this mounting is using those basic clips that are are already on AMD motherboards now that does make mounting very easy for the water block the downside of course is that I don't feel like it's very consistent and I feel like there's a very good chance that uh, your mounting pressure will be a little bit off that being said it shouldn't be a huge deal provided that you get adequate pressure uh, I just don't particularly like using those clips because there's only two points of contact as opposed to four points if you're using a standard backplate mounting procedure now, as far as cooling performance goes, it's basically what I would expect from a 240 millimeter AIO put up against the Arctic Freezer A35 ARGB. The MSI AIO does save us just a little bit on our temperatures, about four or five degrees here when I'm running IDA and Heaven Benchmark together to really stress out the CPU to 100%, but it's probably not worth the overall cost and that rolls right into the conclusion of this quick review in that the mag 240 rv2 is highly priced dependent on whether or not you should be purchasing this aio which is why you need to see those links down below basically if it is expensive and in my mind expensive is anything over about a hundred dollars it's probably a hard pass just because there's so many other aios on the market it is likely that you can find one with an rgb element to it as well as the exact same radiator size decent enough fans and you can probably find one just cheaper than $100 fairly simply that being said if you're looking for the white version of this cooler because that's a little bit more limited on the market uh, you may be able to justify paying a slightly higher price for this particular cooler than you might uh, if you're looking for just a AIO to put in a system for performance purposes basically what I'm saying here is highly price dependent but if you really like the look of it then you might be willing to pay a little bit more for the easy uh, RGB implementation as well as the generally easy mounting of this cooler so with all that said I will kick it back to you guys do you have a liquid cooler in your system if you do what did you pay for it and what exactly is it let us know in those comments down below otherwise I will let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware and I will see you guys in the next video